What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Lex Express, checking in with the grand finale to the book of Boba Fett. Chapter 7 is in the books. That's it. We're done, Trout. Yo, Trout. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Yo, did you enjoy that episode or what? Cause you, you... Hell yeah. That that was actually my favorite one out of the whole series. R really? Really? Yes, sir. You were that high on it? Yep. Yes, sir. So let me just shoot the action. You want to? Yeah, action. I think you liked it because of the action. It kept you up and yeah. and riled up. And and Bubba Fett wasn't uh, no wasn't a know. pushover for for yeah. the whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> he actually he didn't get he didn't get beat up or nothing. He actually did the beating up. Yeah, yeah. He actually he stepped up to the plate uh, when it, when it was time. You know that that's definitely one of the biggest changes here in this episode that it, we saw him lose a little bit in some of the other ones and kind of like. He kind of lost himself in the whole process of doing everything with respect and trying to be loyal. And, you know, mm -hmm. obviously um, he needed help and he didn't get it and all that. But um, just to die down the hype a little bit, you know that I looked over my wife and I said, well, what did you think? She said, wow, this sucked. <laughs> and, and I started laughing. I'm like, well, why? What happened? So here's the thing. Here's the thing, I, and and we did talk about it because I wanted to put her two cents in here while we talked about it overall. Um, and I agree with her on this. Not that the episode sucked. I didn't think it sucked. It just it felt underwhelming at times, and I'll tell you why. Episode 5 and 6 focused on Mandalorian and his world, right? Mm -hmm. Which obviously means that they brought back Grogu and they they brought in Luke Skywalker and that stole the show. They even had a cameo from a, a, a Ahsoka, and um, you know it was awesome. It was awesome to see that, right? And yep. and and we got to see where where uh, where Mando was, what he was up to, and um, you know we we got to jump back into his world, if you will, and I think that his world was just built up so much better. And I know he's had two seasons to build up that universe overall, but even within just the first season, it just felt more grand, detailed, and and it was like I wouldn't say the perfect pacing, but I what I'll, I'll what I will say is that it all paid off, right? Yep. You know the build up all it all paid off. I feel like he this, stole the show. He stole the show exactly. <laughs> he stole our hearts. Honestly, that's what I feel like. Boba Fett was supposed especially, to be enough. Especially uh, Grogu. Especially Grogu. <laughs> especially Grogu. And that's that's a big deal for sure. But Boba just never really captured that throughout the season, I feel like. You know, I feel like yeah. he was constantly trying to live up to the Boba Fett hype that we've always known and, and, and heard of. If you're not a Boba Fett, like, you're, you're trying to see what the hype is all about. And if you are a Boba Fett, you're trying... You, you want it to live up to the hype. And mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's not enjoyable. It was enjoyable and it was a pleasure to watch. And I did have fun and I thought the episodes were good. It was it was an easy watch, right? I wouldn't say it's a guilty pleasure. I wouldn't disrespect it like that because I think that the team behind the show is actually super talented. And I think they're, the, the, they're phenomenal. The only, thing that bothered, the only thing that bothered me about the whole uh, series, shows, all the shows, series is that... Uh, it made him like he wasn't like that ruthless bounty hunter, you know. He he was like I didn't get no bounty hunter well, vibe from him. I like didn't he, like I understand the P wants the peace and stuff, but that's not you know that, that's not the core of who Boba Fett is. Yeah, and they exactly, switched yeah. it up, and I feel like the 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 Tuscan Raiders it just wasn't enough, right? Because he did yeah. buy into their like spiritual tribal feel, but I don't mm -hmm. I don't feel like it lasted long enough. It wasn't deep enough for him to just all of a sudden throw away his whole training. I don't think they should have killed him off the Tuscan Raiders. That not the early. way they did. No, definitely not. And yeah. then since they shied away from Boba's story and we jump into Mando, <laughs> it put the whole it, it put the whole Boba Fett story in the back burner, right? So then when we come back yep, and we yep. find out that the syndicate was actually the ones in charge of killing the Tuscans, I'm like Oh, okay. I mean, whatever. <laughs> yeah. You know, it just kind of fell flat. Did you feel like that, or you thought that it was like a big shocker to you? Was it a big twist? I don't think it was. No. Yeah, I don't think it was either. And I and I I blame them for setting it up that way. Honestly, I feel like it kind of dragged too long to reveal that. I feel like they mm -hmm. should have done that um, at an at, you know earlier in 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 one of the other episodes because they spent a lot of time with Mando. 
So I feel yeah, like they should. The, the, a part of me thinks that even the last three shows, they were building up Mando even more for his. Next, yes, yes. The, the, yeah, the, the last two episodes. Yes, they they built up yeah. Mando. Yes, they teased Mando in episode four. They gave him episode five. Episode six was mainly Luke Skywalker and Grogu, which is still mm-hmm. with Mando was still there involved. And, you know, you just can't help but feel bad for Boba Fett as a character overall because the the spotlight was taken away from him. And he was getting outshined by Mando. He got outshined through and through. He had his moments in this episode, which I was happy to see him with the Beast, which was hilarious to me because I thought... That was awesome. <laughs> I thought it was awesome, Trout, but, man, you know that, the you know, Danny Trejo, the actor that was there with the Beast, remember that he told, mm-hmm. he was talking to the Beast and he said, you know, he basically insinuated that the Beast was there to kill Boba. Yeah. Yeah, so I thought that that, that, that was ultimately, you know, what, what it was going to lead to, and I was like, where's the Beast? And then he goes away and he comes out with the Beast. I thought they, that was epic. That was awesome. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Yeah. But, again, um... Most of the things that they went for here fell flat. And then in in uh, episode six, they reveal Cade Bane from the Clone Wars. And I did get the vibe. I did get the feels. You know, when he came out, I was like, oh, shit. Like, this is this is a big deal. This guy is, you know, you could tell that this guy has a lot of meaning. And then, you know, between what Brian told me and doing a little bit of research, he's also one of the top bounty hunters uh, that you could contract in, in the Star Wars galaxy, like in the Star Wars universe. Mm-hmm. He's right there neck and neck with uh, with Boba Fett himself. So I thought that showdown was going to get built up into something special. And even though the acting and, and the character is awesome and, and the character has a backstory, right? I He's still badass. <laughs> I, I thought that, yes, I thought that killing him off was a dumb move. I felt like they, they should have done something to kind of get him to 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 survive and have him come out in the future like in season two or something i thought that killing him off was just done like they rushed it and that's Mm -hmm. what i feel like with this show they tap they they had it had those mandalorian moments that felt epic and awesome and amazing and i just feel like it didn't really build it it didn't really build up to anything like this was this was the most basic show trout Think about it. It was really basic. It was literally that they wanted to run the spice through the town. You know, Jabba yeah. the Hutt's family yeah. left. And then the syndicate, the syndicate. Yeah, they wanted to work with the mayor to take over and make money. And the mayor wanted Boba out. Like, that was literally the... the, the there's nothing else to it. There was nothing else to it. They. It's yeah. like, it just... It, the story felt a little empty. It felt like they were stretching it out. I definitely think we got the most action in the last episode. Yeah, yeah. they definitely saved you know the action for the last episode. I think that's why I liked it the best. No, and I and I, <laughs> hey, and there's nothing wrong with that. I I enjoyed the action. I liked the story overall. I thought it was cool. But man, after like imagine writing that big high from Mandalorian and then seeing this, <laughs> it's just yeah. it doesn't feel like it's up there with it. They tried. Yeah. They tried including Grogu. I felt like that was awesome, but it still didn't help. Mandalorian was there, and it still didn't help overall. Boba is just what he is, and if you like it, you like yeah. it. If you don't, you don't. Take it or leave it. That's really the option that Disney and Lucasfilm gave us here. Take it or leave it. This is what we got for you. Enjoy it. We'll give you more Mandalorian down the line, and th- <laughs> this is this is what we're doing for now. And, um, you know, I walk away enjoying it, but feeling a bit underwhelmed overall. And I, you know, I was talking to Brian about the overall series, and he said I already gave up on having any hope. I, you know, I, I checked out already in in the hope department in terms of Boba Fett being who I <laughs> wanted him to be. Like it is what it is at this point, and I agree with him. I feel that way after even even after watching this, he had his badass moments. He did get the upper hand on Cade. He did kill him off, but the story just it wasn't deep. And it not every story has to be super deep, but I just wasn't like super emotionally attached. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And 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 to close out this review, right? I'm going to close it out by saying this. Yesterday, Trout, I showed uh I showed my dad the final episode of uh season 2 for Mandalorian. Mhm. Cuz he caught up and and that was the last episode he needed to watch and I said, "Hey, he I'll, went through it all." <laughs> he went through it all really fast and he was super hyped and I told him, "Hey, the last episode save it so we could watch it together." 
my brother, man, I put that shit blasting. My big old TV were there, and you know what I'm talking about. That scene that's building up for Luke Skywalker to come out. Yeah. I'm yeah. ready to see him. I'm looking at him, and, and we're looking at the, the big droids trying to knock down on the door, and I'm like, man, those droids are tough. They're not going to be able to get him. And when, when, once you see the X-Wing and the music starts kicking in, and that moment, that moment yeah, yeah. was just so historical, bro. It it rivals any other TV show, and it's one of the greatest moments in like television history. Not just Star Wars history, but in television history, in my opinion, it had it carried so much weight and emotion. And yeah. not that I expected Boba to reach that, because like I said, that's one of the greatest scenes of <laughs> all time. Some yeah, yeah. you know, some shows are great and they don't reach that ever. I just feel like Boba didn't even come. Like not even within range, not even close to that level of emotion. Even in not season one, he just he just got tossed around like it was nothing. Yeah, he got I tossed just... around throughout the whole season, and and at times in this episode too. And we just, I just felt like the level of emotion. Even do you remember season one that when when Mando is trying to, he's on the run and he's protecting Grogu yeah. and he's trying to gather information. He's kind of lost in the sauce. Like yeah. all that was super deep. It was super emotional. It kept you on edge. Yeah. Here, I just every, feel... Every episode meant something. Exactly, exactly. And and it had its fillers, because I did complain about that. When yeah. I saw it, I was like, man, there's eight episodes. Two or three of them were fillers. I'm annoyed. I want Disney to give us meaningful moments, because I loved Loki. I loved Loki, bro. Loki, through and through, oh, I yeah, felt that like... That show was awesome. <laughs> exactly. I felt like every episode in Loki mattered, bro. It was building towards something. Yeah. It paid off. <laughs> You know, I feel like here the payoff was like, it was kind of like, uh, here you go. Here's your change. <laughs> you know, I f exa <laughs> wow, I just came up with the perfect analogy. Yes, I feel like <laughs> Boba Fett is just change, like just chump change. <laughs> He's just what's left over when you com complete a transaction. Oh, well, we'll, we'll get it next time. <laughs> yeah, oh, no worries. Uh, here's your receipt, sir. Thank you for watching uh, the book of Boba Fett. So all in all, man, um... Would would you feel comfortable giving this final episode a one through ten score, or you, you think you just want to leave it at you enjoyed it and that's that? It's okay if I you would don't leave want to. It, I enjoy it. That I would say I would I enjoy it what it was, but I will point this out that I think the Mando was way better. Yeah, same in here. Terms of in terms of one, but I, but yeah. I would say it's good. I, it's not bad. Cause, it's not know, bad. It's hey, not Star bad. Wars. It's yeah, Star it's Star Wars. Wars. It, love it, so. it, it. It feels nostalgic. It feels right. It you know. Maybe those colorful bikes didn't have any business doing there. <laughs> but, but, all right, but it's okay. I feel like I'm being a little harsh because Mando set the tone, like it, it set the bar so high. So yeah. whatever, that's where I'm coming from. But I still enjoyed it. You know, I turned my brain off. I didn't overthink. That's one thing I, I tried making sure that I just sat there and enjoyed everything. And, and you know, mm -hmm. my wife enjoyed it because I told her, did you at least enjoy it? And she goes, yeah, it was good. And it had good action and stuff. And she loves Mando and Grogu and all that. But she just felt like it, it, it was just a little disappointing. She was disappointing. She was disappointed overall with the arc of the story. And, mm -hmm. you know, and then the end credit scene, we get Timothy Oliphant's character who we thought was dead. He's in the, in the chamber, you know, pretty much recuperating. And we see the dude that does all the, like, the the bio stuff to your body to like um yeah. to like engineer your your arm or whatever so he was there fixing up timothy elephant so i'm glad they kept him around because i enjoy uh timothy elephant as an actor and his character was actually super dope and added like a like kind of like a, a certified badass to the boba fett <laughs> team so i want to see where yeah. they go with that story Trout, thank you for being a part of the video, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, yes, sir. Guys, thank you for tuning in, man. Um, I did a little uh, reaction and reveal to the to the Obi Wan Kenobi poster, so we're getting that May twenty fifth. So if you guys are Star Wars fans, consider subscribing to the channel because we will be reviewing the Obi Wan Kenobi show. That show's not gonna miss. There's no, they can't d do no wrong with Obi Wan yeah, Kenobi. There's no man. way that's gonna be bad in any yeah. shape or form. <laughs> yeah, come on, come on. We we need that. We need that right now. So if you guys are, are Star Wars fans, well I guess we'll see you around. All right. We'll see you then. Drop a like <laughs> if you haven't already. It helps the video, helps the channel. Get recommended. I'll see y'all real soon. Thank you for tuning in. Peace. Let's go.